And when did you start writing songs? I started really young. I um, I think I was ten. I was nine or ten when I started playing guitar. Oh wow! Um, I started like trying to write songs like at eleven, um, but that didn't really go anywhere. And uh, I think at sixteen, no, I must have been like fifteen. I I wrote like the first song that I released. It was called Love and Misery, and uh, basically I I was on a road trip. Me and my dad drove up to Savannah and and back and. Um, I'd written a song like right when we got back. Um, I ended up recording it. And then my sister, she, she found this guy at a uh, Sirius XM. Like she found his email and just set, set the song. She didn't tell me that she sent it. Wow. The song was not on Spotify or nothing. You know, it, it was just, she just liked the song and she didn't tell me anything. Um, I came home from school. I think I must have been 16. It was like a year later. Like she didn't hear back for like six months or something. And, uh, I, you know, I, I came back home to the news that the song was going to be in rotation the following week. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was, that, that, was, that, was, was, that is that so was, sweet. Yeah. How so, about I mean, that, go sis. That was like a big turning point for me, you know, like from just, you know, thinking that, you know, music was just going to be a hobby, you know, to, you know, me kind of feeling like, all right, maybe, no, maybe maybe I can do this, you know, <laughs> like and just no kidding. You know, have this be my job, you know. Wow. So had 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 you between the time you wrote that song and you found out it was gonna be in rotation on Sirius XM, did you write other songs or was that like you you went, Oh goodness, I should go write more because it worked? I, I had a few songs that I was sitting on. You know, I was always writing, like even even the times like where, you know, I I was quitting music and, you know, like I, I still kept writing, you know, it, it was, you know, I feel like it's something that kind of just follows me around, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I ended up releasing like an EP and an album shortly after that I ended up taking down. So that was on Spotify <laughs> until the middle of last year. <laughs> I, Why I took, did you take it down? Oh man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> See, I, I, it's okay though. Here, here, here's the here's the idea. Hold on to them, mm -hmm. and then when you get big, when you get big, you release them as an archive or something, and then there you go. You've got another album up there, and you didn't have to do a whole lot for it. So, yeah, just I like, like Taylor it, Swift lead. Oh yeah, the Taylor Swift move. Yeah, man, it, I I have kind of been thinking about maybe like rehashing some of those songs because I I do feel like there's little bits and pieces, you know that. Like at that time, like, you know, you write a song about, you know, getting your heart broken or not having any money. Like it doesn't mean anything, you know, but then, you know, eight years later, you know, when you've lived a little more and mm -hmm. kind of, you know, spread your wings and gotten out in the world. Um, you know, I, I think some of those lyrics might have more weight to them, nice. which I think would be cool to revisit. What's your creative process like? Is it like you come up with a lyric and then a melody or vice versa? When 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 and where do you find yourself most creative and and what's the process for you or does it vary? It kind of varies. Like I've kind of realized that like the rhythm that I've kind of had, um, you know, I'll kind of just go about just living life and kind of collecting little bits and pieces, like little ideas. I'm always on voice memos like. If I hear something that I like or, you know, think of like a melody, a lot of it's like when I'm driving now, you know, I'm always driving. Um, so, yeah, like if I if I get like a, an idea of a melody or something, I'll, I'll just record that. And then it's kind of like, you know, I'll have these other phases, like after like the idea phase, you know, ends, like I'll collect like a bunch of ideas. I'll kind of go into, you know, I'll have like a boring two, three weeks. And I'll kind of just sit with those ideas and then kind of craft them out and nice. uh, turn them into songs. And is it, 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 it the way that you answered that? I'm assuming then it's it's lyrical first, and then you put music to it later, or is there is there a melody that pops in there too? Sometimes it's you know, uh, sometimes it's like a song title, you know, huh. or like somebody says something like a saying, or you know, you're like uh, that applies to what's going on, you know, yeah going on with my life you know recently or you know five years ago um but yeah typically it's like chords like i'll i'll get some like like chords down and think all right you know and then just kind of let it spill 